Hello, I'd like to take a few minutes today to show you how to create your own quiz uh, on the sets that you have logged in and created on your own Conjugamos account. So in order to create a quiz, uh, we are going to go to an existing set that you have created. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at a verb activity for this one. Uh, el futuro. So if you come down to the three dots to extend your menu, I'm going to click that. And then I have multiple options. I'm going to choose turn to quiz, which has the little graduation cap right beside it. I'm going to click that. And then as that comes up, it asks us to add some basic information. So we want to add our quiz name. Let's do prueba el futuro the maximum number of questions that you would like, and the number of points per question. Just do a minimum amount since it won't let you proceed later on um, if you don't complete all of the questions, which is also good for your students. They can't finish the quiz unless they've typed something in for each of those questions. Choose a date, due date for your quiz. And then down here, it has a couple settings uh, to allow retakes, yes or no to show the answer key after submission, yes or no, and uh, what class you're going to assign that to. So I'm going to leave both of those no. I find that's what works best for my class and my students. And then assign to Spanish 4 is the class. Uh, here you can choose to make your quiz visible or not. If the quiz is visible, your students can take the quiz and the original activity will be hidden. But if the quiz is not visible, it would be the opposite as it says there. I don't know why I felt the need to read that exactly to you, but I did. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to keep it um, not visible currently. And then I'm going to uh, create the quiz. Click that button. And now the quiz has been created. Um, it's on my section here under um, my activities. So we're going to go down to Prueba El Futuro, and I'm going to click on that to show you what the quiz itself looks like. This was a conjugation activity, and so that's what the quiz is, is also conjugation. So we are going to go ahead, oops, I can't type today, and answer these questions. Uh, one thing that you may have noticed is that when we type a uh, vowel or the letter N, it pops up here in a bubble and gives us that option, which is very nice because no matter what system or what device your students are using, the Conjugamos website uh, helps them with the accent marks. So um, let's see here. We'll look again. And for the E, there it is. So oh, we're going to answer one incorrectly here just so we can see what happens. We'll submit our answers. It asks us if we're sure we want to submit because this is a quiz after all. Let's say OK. And then if you were a student, your score would be recorded. Um, however, since I am on my teacher account currently, it did not record my score. So I'm going to go ahead and X out of that. Then um, if I go back here to my um, quizzes page, let me go to my activities. I'm going to choose quizzes because that's what we were just in. Uh, you will see that it's there. No answers have been answered, but you can look at one that does have the answers and their statistics. And I don't want to show you my student names, but I will show you uh, what information you receive when you do that. So my desktop's a mess. Um, when you receive that, you are going to get a raw score, the average raw score, the percentile, and then this under here will be the student name, the points they received, the percentage, and the time taken. I always like to take a look at the time taken uh, just because it helps me to know whether the student probably got assistance from somewhere else or did the activity on their own. Hopefully they've done it on their own. Um, so this was a quick rundown of how to create a quiz out of any of your existing activities. You can do that with vocab grammar or verbs. If you have any other questions or need anything else, uh, please let me know. Any suggestions for content for videos? Again, I'm more than happy